In this tutorial, I'm going to discuss the quotient rule. I'm going to use a pretty simple example, and I do know I could simplify this equation, so some of you don't write me and say you could simplify it. I know that. There are links to other problems using the quotient rule below. The quotient rule can be a little intimidating, so I'm going to break it into several pieces. And I'm going to discuss each of these pieces individually and walk you through this slowly and piece by piece. Again, the equation I'm using is y is equal to x squared divided by x cubed, where f of x is x squared and g of x is x cubed. Everywhere there is f of x, I'm going to put x squared. And everywhere there's g of x, I'm going to put x cubed, the green g of x. I'll put the green x cubed. So let me begin. I'm going to drop down this d divided by d of x, and I will bring down the brackets as well. I'll put the equation in there, x squared divided by x cubed. This is equal to x cubed times the derivative of x squared minus x squared times the derivative of x cubed. All of this divided by x cubed squared. In reality, there's only two bits of calculus. This first bit here, the blue square, and then the green square. Now let me continue on. This is all equal to x cubed times the derivative of x squared. Using the power rule, the derivative of x squared is 2x to the first power minus x squared times the derivative of x cubed. Again, using the power rule, the derivative of x cubed is 3x squared. L this divided by x cubed times x cubed, which is x cubed squared. So when I multiply, I add the exponents, so this becomes x to the sixth power. But now I have x cubed times 2 to the x to the first power, which is 2 times x to the fourth power. So now I take x squared times 3 times x squared, which gives me negative 3 times x to the fourth power. All this divided by x to the sixth power. 2 times x to the fourth power minus 3 times x to the fourth power is a negative 1 times x to the fourth power divided by x to the sixth power. This all equals negative 1 divided by x squared. When dividing, we take the exponents and subtract them, so it's 6 minus 4, which is 2. Bada bing, Bob is your uncle. The derivative of x squared divided by x cubed is equal to a negative 1 divided by x squared. This means the slope of x squared divided by x cubed is never positive. Let me graph this for you. So the graph of y is equal to x squared divided by x cubed looks like this. And as you see, the tangent line is never positive. It's always downward sloping. Henceforth, the negative sign of the first derivative. Remember to share the love, share the knowledge. Facebook, Google Plus, and Twitter. Links to other things below. Subscribe, share, like me.